when uh-huh. they're due for like their final vaccinations because yeah. they're about to turn three. Yeah. And um, and they also needed rabies vaccinations. And I also had to buy um, heartworm flea and tick preventatives uh-huh. for like. I, and I bought like six months a six month supply. And just got just, just take a guess at how expensive it was. Just I literally like what two thousand dollars. They rang it up. No, that would be absurd. But they made <laughs> up six hundred and sixty two dollars. For bro. two dogs that bro. don't even weigh ten pounds, four pounds. I was like, "Are you at, kidding me?" You can get that stuff at Pittsburgh. I well, I know, <laughs> but I was, I was there. I didn't. Well, I, I think the biggest, the, the biggest expense were, were their like their final shots. But yeah. God, I mean, four shots a dog. That's eight shots. I don't even know. It was madness. But hey, Lego's over three pounds now, so yeah. he's over really four. Healthy. Yeah, he's uh, he's four point two yeah. pounds. I went home and my dog, she got she had this like growth thing on her legs, so they got her moved. Yeah. And she's got this cone and she's enormous anyway. She's like 80, 90 she's pounds. She's like banging her head. She, and my house is tiny, so she's like ramming into everything and everyone. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Does it start with any specific questions or no? No? No. We can keep talking about dogs for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we can start with it. It starts with me saying Coleman's carpool and then that's it. Okay. All right. That's Lily. That's Cody. That's What's Blake. up? Hello. We're rolling deep in IU or Hello. Bloomington. I feel like you can tell it's a college town because I've almost hit like five pedestrians. Yeah. yeah I don't really care. Yeah. You just walk. It's bad because when you're driving, you're like, I'm totally going to run them over. But when you're walking, yeah, exactly. you're like, yeah. what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah. I think some people want to get hit. You know, that like free tuition thing? I don't know. I don't think that's, is that a real thing? Though? I think if you get hit by the bus. Yeah, if you get hit by the bus. <laughs> I've and you don't every, die. It's like you, every <laughs> college student has heard that. Everyone's like, if you get hit by a bus, you get free tuition. I just jump in front of that bus. I just don't know if that's true, though. <laughs> uh, maybe that's just a crazy rumor. I don't know. Surely to God, oh, they'd maybe. pay your tuition, though. Like, if you got yeah. hit by the bus. I suppose. And, and, it, was the, and it was the bus's and fault. Die. There's, yeah. like, there's so many, you know, different scenarios that... Because what if it's your fault and the IU bus hits you? Like they're not gonna pay. They're not gonna pay for your college for being an idiot. They might feel bad for you, but I don't know. Or like maybe I'm just a little cold-hearted. Maybe there's a <laughs> certain like quota of broken bones that you have to meet. Oh, mm, no. You only broke four bones in your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a five bone minimum. Have you broken any bones? No, never. Lily, have you broken anything? Uh, broken some. Fingers. I think I broke my foot one time, but I never got it fixed. <laughs> Actually, I did it. I did. I was at the nat, and I was in the um, diving well, and I, for some reason, I was like climbing out of the stair, uh, up the stairs, and then I pushed up, and I like the step was like here, and I ran my foot into the, the corner of the step. Yeah, and I was hobbling. I did break my like ring finger, and, and uh, the knuckle is like kind of funky, and so it's really hard to put my wedding ring. That's because my knuckle's so thick. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my excuse. That's yeah. why I wear it so. It's hard. Things. It's hard for me to get my wedding ring out. <laughs> Well, even at the wedding, <laughs> at, during the ceremony, when she like put the finger over my ring, it did not slide on it because I didn't like I didn't put lotion on it, I didn't lubricate it. Oh my Which, god! No, no, no <laughs> joke. To put my actual ring on my metal ring on, I have to I have to like lube it because my knuckles so thick. My my fingers like all fingers. Um, Has everyone you watched Stranger Things? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. If you could be any character in Stranger Things. What's his name? So Jamal this is guy? hard. Billy. Yeah, this is Billy. really hard. <laughs> you don't want to be Billy. That guy's a dick. <laughs> Just the hot. scene that we were talking about earlier. Like he was like, benching and then like curling 135 and like smoking a cigarette. That like, was so funny. The epitome of man. Um, oh no, God. I'd want to be like a, someone so, with the power. So that's the, yeah. that's the thing though. Like if you were, a, a lot of people are like, I don't want to be 11 because she has so many powers. Yeah, but she also had a family that was like murdered. So. She's also like so messed up. Yeah, she's, she's number one. Yeah. Super, no, we don't. No, we don't, we don't know, know what number one is, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think you guys understand. No, I like the kid without the teeth. Uh, Dustin? Oh, he's oh, with so the hair. funny. With the curly hair. Dude, yes, his hair was so hilarious. good kind of at the ruined the, or like caused the whole thing, though, by keeping... A little the, bit. Uh, yeah, keeping true. Dart. Yeah. Why hide Dart, But man? I guess there, would, I mean, there, there was were like others anyway. Yeah. Okay, fun fact. So, the kid who plays Lucas was on Broadway uh-huh. for like two years or something. He was like Simba. Is he like the curly one? He's a black kid. Okay. Yeah. And I saw him as Simba on Broadway, but didn't realize it until Whoa. I was like watching something. He's like, oh, yeah. Did you have like a big moment when you realized I know. It? I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand how much time I've spent like, thinking about what it would be like to have those superpowers. <laughs> like, it hurts me <laughs> to think that I'll never have real superpowers. It just, yeah, to like enrages me. What's but, 
your go-to? My, my go-to is obviously teleportation. Uh, yeah. I spend I mean, like, hours it's thinking it's like so. <laughs> it's like what? It's it's typical. It's, it's cliche. It's just because it's the best. <laughs> it is the best. Or immortality. <laughs> or time travel. Yeah, time travel. Do you, okay, if you travel back in time, do you age when you're back there? No, you're, you're the age. same age. You're the same age? Haven't you seen that? Yeah. So, <laughs> so like, like, like if you stay like in the future, like in the past for like two years, then you don't age. Right. See, that's like cheating. Yeah, no. That's cheating. Yeah. That's totally cheating. Oh, yeah, you understand. You know what I mean? I, the one I always think about is like, um, it's telekinesis. So like, if I can read your brain and know people's thoughts, that's insanely powerful, scary, yeah. and almost limitless. But the, the scary thing to me is, like, what if it's not a choice? Like, what if you can hear thoughts and read people's minds, but you can't, you can't, what what you can't it have to be hear a it. choice. Well, but what if it's not though? Insane. You know, what if it, what if it's just like just Xavier. like just like hearing certain wavelengues? Like yeah. I can hear you speaking to me right now. What if your brain just automatically hears thoughts? You want to be a Professor Xavier? It was like a... well, Xavier can control it. Right? <laughs> well, yeah, you couldn't control it. You couldn't control it. Like that yeah. would be a scary. You heard thing. everyone's prayers. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely what you hear from me. Prayers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like okay, if you were like Elastigirl, right? What? And you could like be stretchy, but then couldn't you like technically like make your muscles like bigger and smaller? Yeah, I mean, right? You, you, yeah, I, absolutely. Like in a way, in my in my mind, I've thought about that a lot too. So if you're if you have the power of like elasticity, you have the uh, the ability to recover like that, right? Right? Like because your muscles that's like the your ultimate muscles grow like and shrink. Swimming. You'd be like the strongest <laughs> superpower. That's like so right. close minded. Like, if you could teleport, like, you don't need to. <laughs> I, mean, I don't need to swim. Yeah, I'm so small. I, mean, I, I guess, but, but... But I feel like you can't, like, defend the world by teleporting. I don't know. I don't think you can like, defend if you're, it by if you're a superhero, you have to Dude, use yeah, Kurt, Kurt Wagner never saved the world by himself. <laughs> The movie, the movie Jumper, yeah, although, so although not a great movie, it's, it's a good movie, not a great movie, but the, the premise, <laughs> the premise, the idea of being able to Sucks that you have to have brain, seen it. That's, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. But if you can picture something and poof, you're there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back in bed. See, like, my go-to is always just like, I would, it'd be like a big hassle, but I would just want like huge wings. Wings. Like that would be cool. That'd be cool. And like I could fly. So, yeah, so you could just be like the torch. Like so, like uh, if you could, if you board. could retract them and like kind of disguise them, like people wouldn't know. Yeah. See, because if you had these giant wings and they were always there, then you'd just be a freak and everyone would know, <laughs> right? Like I wouldn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah. but like a butt. Well, but well uh, you just you'd want the ability to, to it make, maybe your wings could like fold up and lay lay against your back, so people wouldn't. Or maybe they're more like isn't mechanical. There, isn't there some movies? I think it's an X Men movie where like she has like the tattoo of the wings, but then they turn into yep. real wings. Yeah, that's X Men's first class. Yeah, she's got yeah. like butterfly wings. That's a good one. That is a good one. I have no idea. We don't either. Close. Alan and I have been watching a lot of Fixer Upper shows. Yeah, though. I love that show. We love this. We love this. <laughs> stuff. I'm like learning what I like. <laughs> that's how it is. These are pretty nice. So do, does like watching those shows actually make you want to? It is a little inspiring. Like, it makes me want to. It makes me want to learn to do things. It does. It, it, to answer that, yes, yes, it does. Can you fix it up? No, stuff? I'm not. I'm not a handy That's person. Not, no, 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 no. <laughs> See, my mom's a shop teacher, so she can like legit fix yeah. anything. But my dad can't screw a light bulb. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm like my dad. I cannot do anything. And she's just like, "What's wrong yeah, with you? I'm like, you did it all for me." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty funny, Ray's, Ray's kind of like that too. He's like, I've, I've, I've uh, wrecked three lawnmowers because I didn't know how to do the <laughs> I was like, dude. Ian texted me today and he's like, he's like, so apparently Swim Song's here to film some footage for practice. And Ray wrote an 800 breaststroke pull for time. <laughs> and Ian's like, just why Please. should I, why do I, why would I even show up? <laughs> Please no. I was like, sorry, I'm not doing that. If we have an 800 anything today, I That's not I am either. That had to have been a coincidence. Ray, you think? <laughs> no. no. Ray, Ray is a fan of the over distance stuff. He, he loves giving us you know, 200s and above, 400s kick, 400s pull. Uh -huh. We do 800s from time to time. Um, we usually don't go 800 pull though. No, we don't. We I usually, think we've only got one 800 eight, pull. We do the 800 kick semi regularly. Yeah. Um, 800 brush kick for time. We do. We do 400 to 400 and 300 pull. Yeah, we do right, fairly regularly. Pull probably um, you know, now it's like, dude, we got a 200 pole. Like, 400's pole breaststroke kick? Yeah. 
or a breast strip? Yes, yeah, breast with, strip with a tube. So we wear a black tube around our ankles, okay. a buoy, and then paddles. Um, and then we do we do like a little bit of a breaststroke kick with the tube. Yeah. So it's do. not like the legs are completely <laughs> flat. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Call it what you want, but I kind of like it though because your 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 legs are constricted because you're wearing the tube, but you get a little bit of a flick with your ankles. So it's almost like it okay. works an out sweep for your ankles, if that makes yeah. sense. It's like yeah. a little little choppy motion. It's um, good for me because like you can either like dolphin kick with it, and I don't have a very good dolphin kick. But if I breaststroke kick with it, our ankles are flexible enough that we can yeah, do it. Yeah, we both. Yeah, and, I both and it like feels like more like normal stroke. Right. Gosh. And, and I, like dolphin kicking with the tube, it's it's hard because like it's it takes so much force, and I feel like it's almost a little counterproductive. And it, yeah. it just takes a lot of energy. So like if you're doing a 400 breaststroke pull and you're wearing a tube and you're trying to dolphin kick, you are you're gonna hurt at the end. And I suck at pulling, so I need to kick. She says that she doesn't I suck. suck. <laughs> She's maybe not as good as she has to kick I kick faster than I swim some days. Yeah, I was telling him this morning. I was telling him this morning. The breakfast, <laughs> so bad. Your kick is your kick is really good, especially in the distance. So. Yeah, shocking. The long it's stuff is better. <laughs> She's Lily's lead. Uh, I would love to watch Blake try to do a 400 breaststroke kick. <laughs> my shins would like snap in half. Like, <laughs> 200. You know, that's going to be my legs are super tired. Like, oh yeah, just, <laughs> just to do something different. It's like recovery. Yeah. It's pathetic. Your breaststroke pull though, your breaststroke pull is not too strong. You can fake 100 breaths. His 50 breaths is good. I have. He's got that pull out. Blake's pull out is fun. That's all you need. That's the truth. So Ray, Ray's a little bit superstitious. More Ray. He, a he little used bit. To be, well, we, I just, just be about Ray. Ray. <laughs> when you guys started talking about pizza, I was gonna say Ray. Ray loves pizza. That's one of his favorite foods. And um, he went through this phase for, I want to say like two or three years when I was in school, where Ray would eat an entire pizza. That's it. Only two or three years. Okay, I, I did it carry this was like on. A, yeah. Well, well, he kicked it for a while. He stopped doing it for a while because he like stopped, thought it wasn't working. So he like, I'm serious. We okay. tried something new. Wait, so he ate when, a whole pizza? School, what? He would eat a whole pizza for dinner on like one night of the meat, like one night that he thought was really important. Yeah, he ate the whole thing. Or, and or, and no joke, like, and, and, and like, no joke, he, he, and one night he did, he ate, he ate a whole pizza every night for dinner. Like, he had pizza every night for dinner. That was like his thing. He's like, he thinks, I don't know, I don't know no, why. He I don't know what logic still there does is. That. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, he also throws money into the pool to quote him so, to feed the water gods. Yeah. Well, he's he's got to pay <laughs> pay the ways to the water gods. We, we, he's not the only one. Like uh, Eddie Reese does that. We would go down and grab it and throw it throw it out. And like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you go find the, yeah. you go find the money at the bottom of the pool. The change. Yeah. He, he, does that. he did it in Rio. It worked. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Ray telling me the story the first time he saw Eddie do that. You have to ask him about it, but he, he saw Eddie throw some change before and he was like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? He's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And Eddie finally, like grabs finally, his finally, elbow. Yeah. I think that was back when Ray was a swimmer, like re- like a long time like ago. Like swimming? Yeah, back for, when Ray swam. Did he swim for Eddie? I Briefly, like, yeah. He, he, he swam Eddie. for Eddie. I wanted to dunk dump like a whole piggy bank like in my life <laughs> before NC. Just comes make, that, like, <laughs> make that like a tradition. What's the team that does like the water, that do, the, shakes the water over the pool before? It's a couple. Teams. Tennessee. Tennessee does that, I know. Okay, okay. They shake water over the pool. Well, yeah, they get they like take a water their bottle. water. No, they take their water. Uh-huh. There's like their water. I think this is what it is. Okay. Water from their pool, and then they mm-hmm. pour it in the other. But they do. It's part of a cheer. Yeah, like they're like chanting and cheering and clapping, and, mm-hmm. and, then, <laughs> and then like they, yeah, they dump it all over the the lanes and stuff. I, I would love to see Blake just walk up with a piggy bank and just dump <laughs> Just an NC's just dump it. Just dump it. <laughs> hey, Everyone's man. like, what is he doing? Yeah, don't worry about it. it. I hate to say it, guys, <laughs> but you're not going to win. <laughs> <laughs> no, do it like as you're walking out. <laughs> on the on the deck? No, like when you walk out, like they call you up to the uh, box, yeah. you dump it, just, uh, and everybody's on the box, like waiting for you. And then you're like, wait, wait, wait. Shake I it. just see Rowdy. What old Dan? Blake's really paying for that one time. Alone. <laughs> I can't okay. confirm this for a fact, but Poseidon will be pleased. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty quick. That wasn't bad at all. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are good at talking. You can really talk. Wait, about yeah. Something. This yeah. is what we normally do. <laughs> this, is, this is exactly how we normally are. So yeah. It's uh, pretty realistic. Loud, <laughs> obnoxious, talking about yeah. absurd things. Like Superpowers and food. Superpowers. Is this good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we can get right great. here. God, front row. Just oh, front row. Thank Joe, you. let's go. Thank you so much. Right, yeah, Thanks, thanks. guys. Thanks for the ride. <laughs>